Tip is Olivia Cochran for Louisville against Kyra Wood for Syracuse. And it's Wood and the Orange who will start with the basketball. Sanaya Wilson who's added some physicality. Oh, no doubt. Physicality, especially on the defensive end. Wilson, another transfer from Buffalo. Here's Fair. Uh -oh. Good! She has Van Lith on her, sizing her up with 10 to shoot. Open, Elena Rice three. Good! That one planks out. Woolley with a chance at a steal, but Kono hangs on. Georgia Woolley, a sophomore transfer from Buffalo. Bounce inside. Harris easily lays yep. it up and in. And, and those are the plays. Jeff Ball's just walking away. They're so frustrating. That is a great opportunity. Offensive rebound and put back instead. I'd like to say maybe more diamond to shields. For sure. That yeah. is definitely a big time player. pull up. Poke out at half. Hyman turns it over. Picasso Robinson. Great job. And Again. Harris, same spot. That's where decision making and your growth as a player from becoming a scorer to a leader, that's where those moments happen. Quick three. Kono is good. Hyman just went to the tunnel during the break. Kennedy Perkins is in the game at point guard. Elena Rice triple team back to Perkins, puts it up and in. And you also need that player for Louisville to, you know, put your foot down and hit that button to say, this is not going to happen anymore. And what a great athletic play. Woolley Good pass. inside. And Better block. block. Nyla Harris. Early in the game, Syracuse got up and seems like Louisville's got that edge to him. But they got to stop turning it over. Syracuse nearly turns it over the other way. The good defense, though, has kept Syracuse to one for its last eight until now. Once again, handling the pressure, that's the last place you want to pick up the ball. So instead, Woolley sees an opening. She's reading what the defense is. In the locker room, Cheyenne McEvans guarding at the top for SU. Quick swing, and there's a three from Van Lith, no good. Big board, Nyla, Harris. Nyla Harris up to six. Now Perkins trying to find Wood, stolen by Van Lith. All alone, and one. If you've sprained your ankle before to get back out there, then if it's the first time. But again, we'll see what kind of lift, how she moves side to side. And that's a smart play by Louisville to start this quarter. DeAsia Fair, an 83% free throw shooter, goes 0 for 2. The other way, Morgan Jones, the former All-American, lays it in. Like, even the way she's running, like it looks heavy. She's dragging it like she's heavy. So it's going to affect her lift, her shot, right? The explosiveness, right? She's not even running at full speed. Chris Lincar the other way. Both got hurt. Fair back into the game. And Hyman was in the locker room. She's now on the bench again, but another turnover. Mikasa Robinson the other way. Carr whips it inside. Turnaround. Dixon, good. Syracuse needed to connect on some more passes than they have recently. Dump inside to Wilson. Immediately double teamed. Steps through it and scores. Not freaking out at all. And so that's a great testament to the coaching job Coach Jack has done to say, hey, we got to be prepared for the type of stifling defense Louisville can bring. Marissa Russell answers. And making the right easy play again offensively if you're Louisville. That's what you're looking for. And then be crazy on defense. Trapped Woolley in the corner, turned her over. And now numbers the other direction, three on two. Carr cuts inside. Yes, good decision. Few have more experience than Carr. Fair with a three. She what can ankle. still do that. What an ankle problem. Avion Smith and NC State hosting Matthew Cleveland and Florida State. Inside Wilson across the key, Lewis. And there's four straight points for Dariana Lewis. You know, for Louisville to have been Elite Eight, to have been Final Four, to have been National Championship games. Step back, fair, swish. <laughs> Louisville needs to hit one. They're 0 for their last six. Williams puts it up and score. Perkins goes baseline, fade away over Van Lith. Fair rebound. Back to Perkins. She wants another try. She's got it. <laughs> one for seven now. Louisville from deep. They were one for eight in their last loss. Woolley. Syracuse leads. You create a lot off this high ball screen, but you got to be able to split it. And Perkins. she does. Offensive board again. Woolley for three again. She got it again. Van Lith only has three right now. Will she attack fair? Drives around her. Blocked away. What a huge swat by Dariana Lewis, the third leading blocker in the conference.
she can do that, but sometimes you gotta, like I said, take a step back, get your teammates involved. She gives it off to Kono, who gets the roll. Put the players in who are gonna give you the best effort. That's what he's looking for right now. Poke away by Robinson, and a steal, two on one with Van Lith. Robinson, and one! A chance to tie it at the line. Get out of here, I got this. She one wants to put long. on one more show before the end of the half. Over Robinson, good. And the reason that's important, if, if you're at home, you don't know a whole lot about basketball, when you have assists on field goals made, it means you're sharing the ball, you're working for an extra pass. Bob outside to Van Lith. Good pass. Dump down pass and a nice bucket by Cochran. And Syracuse has two on one under the bucket if Fair can find it. She rolls it through the legs. Lewis wow. scores. They can no longer do that, especially against a player like Fair. Ooh. Fair loses Ooh. her defender Ooh. and scores. <laughs> Essentially, only using one leg after she got hurt. You see how it affects her right there. You know, having to jump off that right leg because she's just not getting lit. A game for Syracuse where they're eyeing the NCAA tournament. They were hungry before, but now they're getting starving. Kyra Ward puts it in. Chris Lynn Carr to the free throw line, pass deflected. Woolley has her pass stolen, or has the ball taken from her by Mikasa Robinson. Now Carr for three. Good. I want to see more of that. I want to see the drive and dish to Carr for the three. Ooh, just Perkins. Push. Van Lith off. To the corner, Van Lith. Long two, no good. She gets it back. Still only three points for Van Lith. Now one for seven from the floor. Dixon with a deep two. She's in a couple of those today. And we're out here. Certainly an awesome day here in Syracuse to celebrate and an awesome game as Louisville snatches the lead for the first time in this second half. But Robinson with the board. Carr thought about a three. Van Litt's going to try it again. That time she hits, and she needed it. Six points now for Van Litt. And Coach Jack calling flat, which usually means a one for low. So Fair can go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, great double team by Cochran. And now she has a chance to send it in the other way, and she will. And a good job by Jeff Wallace to throw up that double team at the last second. Baseline bounce for Rice inside to Wilson, and she scores. In the corner, Carr for three. No offensive board, Dixon, and she'll finish it up. Plays like that, that's where it shows up. So if I'm Louisville and I'm Van Lith and company, Get the inside the ball and guard the three-point line because Syracuse is burning you from deep. It's a game, and there are only 40 minutes in the game. Carr hoists up that three and rattles it home. Fourth quarter is a big deal here in Syracuse. They have not had a ton of success closing out games. Now they need to try and build a comeback, and Mikasa Robinson makes that a little more difficult. Haley Van Lith not back that's, in the game. That's the one. That's huge. That's interesting here as we start the fourth. Oh! oh, oh, oh nice oh. pass Robinson underneath. So they need another quality win, and for Louisville, a team that is, the program is used to Elite Eight, Final Fours, as Woolley makes her way all the way. Board for Harris, looking for help, finds Carr. And now a short quarter jumper, Harris, it's good. But a risky proposition. Fair was three for four from deep before that shot. And Jeff Walls screaming at his team to push it and go. He wants the pace, he wants the press. Driving on Robinson, spin, no good on the land. Woolley with 18, but couldn't get that one to fall. Carr sprints the other way and score. And 23 assists is a great sign for the Cards on 29 made field goals. Dixon makes another. And today I thought Robinson and Carr did a better job of that than what Van Lith could do on her own. Yeah, she's not selfish. If anything, other people expect her to be at times. Dixon yeah. with another bucket. Even back-to-back -back games, which they've lost now twice this year, was pretty rare beforehand. Fair gets the roll. Yeah, always hopeful and, of course, being, being guided off with no weight on that leg. Just a tough time. Right now, she's just trying to catch her breath. Their toughness, their preseason, you know, top of the ACC marks, and now they're not there, so fighting to get back in to be relevant. 
And Fair has it. She'll pass ahead. And that will do it. Syracuse in Louisville. Tight for three quarters, but that fourth, Louisville showed why they're Louisville.